Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not taking you on to, you know, Six Flags Great Adventure. Go on any ride you want. He has to take care of you. And you're connected to other people. You have a mom, you have a son, you have a daughter, you have a wife, you have a husband. You may be asking for something that's not good for you or them. So he won't give it to you. Okay? And now you start moping and crying and you disbelieve in dua. No. If you have not received, it's a pain that is followed by a greater pleasure. Because the Prophet ﷺ said, Man taraka shay'an lillah, abdalahu allahu khayran min. Whoever leaves something off for the sake of Allah. All right, Allah did not want to give me this. So khalas, I'll give it up. Right? And Allah says, Anta turid wa ana urid. Wa ana af'alu ma urid. Fa in tusallim li ma urid. Kafaytuka ma turid. Wa a'taytuka ma turid. Allah says, I want something. I have a will. Allah has a plan. And you have a plan. But only I will execute my plan. Our plan our dua is only mustajab, answered in this world the way we want it, if it matches the divine will, right? If it doesn't match the divine will, then what does Allah do? His will takes place and we have to deal with it. So you have now two options. You can be miserable. You can go cry and pout. Or you can realize that the deal is still going. There's still more in the deal. Allah says, In urid. Submit that on this moment, I'm getting my way and you're not getting your way. Then I will suffice. I will take care of your pain. I'll take care of that pain in your heart and I'll give you what you want. So maybe this thing that you didn't get, maybe you'll get it later. Or you'll get something better. The Prophet ﷺ has a follow-up to that and he says, if you have to leave something off for the sake of Allah because you willingly leave it off or you have no choice but to leave it off, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala replaces it with something better. So therefore, what you are not losing in dua, so the path of dua is one of two things, is either I can receive what I want or I will not receive what I want. I will be upset. For a little bit but then i can soothe myself by telling me hold on a second allah's promised me that he will replace it with something better what does that mean abdalahullahu who is the fa'il in that statement he says allah will replace him so that means i don't even have to do anything it's gonna come to me it's gonna show up and knock at my doorstep and I don't have to worry about it.